Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite OTPs. Actually, all of these are kind of TV show and movie based. Um, so I don't know about you, but when I think about a like kind of a relationship with my favorite couples, I always think about the ones that I can like visually see. So like in movies or TV shows, I do have some favorite ones from my books, um, from books that I read, but I'm always more engaged in the ones in like the Kind of the visual format so here i have five of my favorite otp couples currently at the moment i feel like i could make one like every couple months and it would be completely different i have a couple here for you i'm pretty sure i've done this video before so i don't know we'll just wish for the best right now because if i have done one before i'll link it up here and down below as well so you can go check that out so let's go ahead and get started so this one is kind of like two couples in one so i kind of lucked out here and it is newt and tina and then queenie and jacob from fantastic beasts and where to find them i don't know what it is but jk rowling has a, like the ability to write like really really good relationships and just friendships overall so I think she just has an act for that but I particularly love the relationships that we saw saw forming in this movie so I'm really excited to see how things progress as the new movies come out I think next November I think is what I've kind of heard basically for the second one for this but I don't know the relationships I think I think especially between like Newt and Tina like they're very different people like Newt's kind of just doing his own things with the animal and he's just he doesn't care if he really breaks the law and then Tina is like really really strict so I really like that aspect of how they're like polar opposites and especially kind of with Jacob and Queenie as well I think they really complement each other and I'm really excited I love the scene at the end like what are that what's gonna happen to them so yeah, I'm really excited to kind of see how this series progresses. I love the relationships and I, I don't know, I'm really worried because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like something bad's going to happen to like one of them. I don't know. So we'll see. I don't know. I really love the couples in here. I don't know, just holding this, I really want to rewatch it again. So we'll see. I don't know. I really love this movie and I'm really excited to see like what happens to these couples, like, you know, further down the road. So next I have one from a TV show and it is Elizabeth and Henry and um, Madam Secretary. So those of you who don't know, this is a TV show that's on CBS um, that just finished its third season. It's coming back for a fourth one and it's also on Netflix if you want to check it out. I highly recommend you do. It is really, really good. But basically it, it follows a woman named Elizabeth who ends up becoming Secretary of State through a series of events. And what I really like about, and, um, and she kind of deals with like the day to days I feel like the Secretary of State does more work than the president but that's just me but just to kind of deal with that I don't get a lot of the political stuff behind it but I really really enjoy the show and what I really like about their relationship overall is just how supportive they are of each other like really when you compare it to other shows like there'll be one that's cheating or one that gets really kind of not really supportive of the other I think in this case what I really like about it is that Henry we see even in the first few episodes he's always cooking dinner more so than Elizabeth is and he's really supportive of her and just her career and I really like that I think they complement each other really well as well I don't know I think they're a really cute couple and I think the two actors that are in this series also kind of are dating in real life so you can kind of see the chemistry there but I really really like them I really love this show so if you haven't go like go check it out it's on Netflix it's really good so yeah so next this is one that's kind of like I don't know I'm really sad it ended the series ended after two seasons on a cliffhanger and I was really upset about it but basically it is Agent Carter and Daniel from the TV series and I really was like I don't know like they kind of like built up the sexual tension in the first season and then they're like at ends like they're not talking to each other anymore and like the second one but things finally came around but I really like I always dig like Peggy and then Captain America but I feel like you can't always hold on to someone like that so I'm really like I was really really digging her and Daniel together I think they're like really really cute and I'm like happy how things ended I'm just not happy that it ended on a cliffhanger and then we didn't get a next season but you can always dream right but yeah I really think they're a cute couple I like how they complement each other as well 
and he really cares about her and he's always like worried about her even though when he was like supposed to be really mad at her he was like you know all for it so yeah I think they're just a really really nice couple so yeah I don't know I can't really describe how much I like them but I don't know me and my friend watched this show and she felt the same way so I think it's something you have to see to get but I really love them as a couple so this should come as no surprise and it obviously is Booth and Brennan from Bones I talk about this show like every video it seems like but I think because I'm just still in the morning period that it's ended so I think that's probably why um but yeah I think he does have his flaws I will say Booth like in some things but like overall I think they are a really good couple they complement each other really well something I've been saying but he kind of makes her step outside of her comfort zone and she also challenges him as well which I really enjoy seeing I think that is just really really interesting and their relationship is so complex and I really like how they started off as friends and it basically took them till like six the sixth season for them to actually get together so I feel like their relationship is built on such a strong foundation which I really really like um so yeah they would probably be my always like my favorite OTP like ever like forever so yeah that's basically all I can say because I could just talk about this all day so lastly this is one another TV show like I said a lot of visual stuff and it is Jess and Nick from New Girl. I was really, really frustrated recently with like everything that was happening. I really am not a big fan of Megan Fox, so I was not happy with her kind of addition to the show. And I'm kind of sad that this show is ending after this upcoming season. I think it's only gonna be like half a season or something. But we finally got like what they were going, like they finally got back together. So hopefully this last season they'll kind of be able to end on a good note because it was just so frustrating but I really think they're a funny couple I think like again they're like extreme opposites and I think they do make each other step out or side of their comfort zone they, I don't know they just like are they make me so frustrated sometimes but I think they're a really cute couple I love the like I don't know they're just a really cute couple I think and they compliment each other and they make out make themselves step outside of their comfort zone which I really like I said that for all these couples but Oh well. You can see what I like look for in like couples on TV shows. <laughs> so yeah. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about some of these couples and what are some of your favorite couples. I'd love to like hear from you. And so yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!